Hey guys, D here. Um, I just got walked into my door um, and I sat down to do this because I wanted to give you my full blown on, uh, full on, I can't talk obviously, full on honesty opinion on Gem Beauty 2016 in New York City. With that being said, I loved it. <laughs> it was, doesn't take much to make me happy. I loved it. It was an incredible, incredible experience. Our we were lucky enough that this year we were invited as creators and because of that we were also attend the creator day on Friday so our Gen Beauty weekend started on Friday and it was just so much fun actually that's that was one of my favorite things about um, Gen Beauty 2016 it was just being able to attend creator day and I will go into another video about creator day and how much it was and it was so much fun and I'll go into the deal, uh, details about it later but I'm just giving you a quick overview on it that was my one of my favorite things. Second favorite things about Gem Beauty, it was me and my our fellow OS, um, Ipsy OS family members. It, ah, it was so exciting to like, every time I walk by one of you guys, I just wanted to hug you because it was so exciting to be able to just actually physically have a connection with you and to actually just talk to you and like being able to like build an actual friendship with a lot of you and it was so much fun on Saturday morning when we all walked in it was like about 30 of us online and we were looking for each other we were reaching out for each other we were looking for those beauty creator badges because we really wanted to meet each other and it was so exciting when you actually recognize somebody because you're usually like looking at them I like or flower crown you know in your pictures and then behind the picture behind the profile we had something there's an actual person it was so nice to be able to put that two and two together I mean come on we're human but you kind of tend to forget that. Uh, one of my other favorite things about Gem Beauty 2016 was meeting Lynette Sine. She is one of the Ipsy stylists and one of the newest ones and she is amazing. I will go into another video and uh, details about her and what an incredible person she is and how intuitive and how giving of herself she is with her time. Um, but love, seriously you guys, love meeting her. Um, okay, so on to the things that I did not like about Ipsios uh, Creator. Number one, the food was true food trucks outside. As fun as that is, when you're walking and trying to meet other people and other brand and how, I mean, there were a lot of trucks this year. Last year for New York, there were two trucks. I was starving. Their lines were ridiculous. I was not going to leave my Make Up Forever line just to go stand in another two hour line for a burger. Just wasn't going to happen. Um, so I thank God for vending machines, Rice Krispie Treats, and Zingles that we had with us because it was, I was so hungry. Um, but this year they do have food trucks. We did bring our food and we were eating on, on standing online at some of the, um, brands. Um, another thing I did not like is, um, there was a lot of uh, miscommunication and there was a lot of, a lot of things weren't organized as proper as it should have been. Um... For example, that I talk about Lene, um, she had a meet up at the Makeup Forever booth and we asked the Makeup Forever girl, like, hey, where is the meet up for Lene? And she was like, oh, it's going to be in stage two. Turned out it, she was actually at the Makeup Forever booth. So little things like that. Um, another thing was um, there, there should have been separate lines for creators. Um, Yes, uh, general mission regular paying ticket members were there for the same mission that we were. However, the perk of ha paying a beauty creator is that you were able to skip those lines. And a lot of the brands actually, you didn't even, you just walked up to the booth and be like, hey guys, I mean, I get it, you're a person online and you're paying, uh, you're paying to be there. And then some random girl walks up to you and I'm like, but this is our perk. And we've sort of been working towards this perk for a while, so... It's nice that we get it. When they get it, they'll understand how nice it is eventually. But this is our turn. So um, as much as I hate doing it to other people and I hate it to be done to myself, I get it at the same time. It's not cool when some other people walk in. But that's why I say there should have been a separate section for creators. Because um, that way we will walk up to the booth wherever we had a designated person. It would be so cool. Oh my God, this video is going to be so long. I'm sorry. I'm wanted it to be short, but I talk a lot, so sorry, y'all. Um, and I think those are the things that I did not like about um, Gem Beauty. I mean, the lines were so ridiculous. And then 
some of the brands were asking beauty creators to stand on the lines and we were like why you know I'm like, i know how snobby on me i don't mean it that way it's just like we really wanted to talk to the pr people and just waste our time standing on the line is like no and just as simple as that is just like a no i don't want to stand on that line because there is another brand over there that would rather talk to me and be generous to me and be very open to their brand and discussing their brand with us. Um, and so I don't want to waste my time, uh, an hour of my day, very limited hour of my day into just standing on the line to get a pro like a product or whatever it might be, or just to talk to a PR person. Um, okay. So I'm going to stop that right there. Cause I could go into so much more detail, but that's my super quick, super, 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 super quick, um, review on uh, Gem Beauty and uh, 2016. And I, I, we received a lot of products, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little overwhelming the amount of products that we received and it's very humbling. And I, I'm beyond appreciative for every single brand that, that you guys didn't need to do that, but we appreciate it. And uh, there's a lot of reviews that were coming, a lot. Um, but there is one item that out of the many that I was super, super, and actually waited only for this one. Um, to God is um, the Too Faced Born This Way. Ah, uh, see, I wasted too much time on that one. Man, I'm sorry. Um, they, I, everyone keeps talking about how it's amazing and it melts in your face and it just blends in beautifully. So I'm excited to try it. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking now because I could talk, as my girls could tell you, I'm a talker, and. Um, and that's it. I for me for now for at this point in time, um, I'm going to pass on the baton to the next nerd, and she's going to give you your her experience or her experience um, at Gem Beauty New York City 2016. Um, stay tuned to the end of the video. There will be tons of pictures, and uh, besides tons of pictures, there's it was a fun treat for us to be in someone's Snapchat, two people's Snapchats. Cool. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> so hi everyone, this is Glory. Um, sorry about my appearance right now. I just made it home from Gen uh, Beauty. I'm still wearing my clothes, badge, everything, makeup. Uh, okay, but it, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I can't wait to take a shower, relax. But let me tell you, all worth it. I will definitely do it again a hundred times more. <laughs> So just real quick, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about my experience. Um, I love the whole thing, obviously, but I have my one of my favorite favorite things was you know getting to meet new brands and uh, getting to meet um, our fellow Ipsos members. Um, we always see each other through Instagram, Facebook, but when you see them face to face, you're like, oh my god, how are you? You just want to squeeze them, hug them, kiss them. I mean, it's just we are we are like a family now. But one of my favorite, most amazing time was meeting uh, Ipsy stylist Lynette. She is truly an inspiration. She is amazing. Um, she's adorable. Uh, she shared so many stories with us. Um, I, I will never forget this day. Plus, I took my little Ipsy OS book with me and she wrote a little message for me. So this I'm going to read every single day of my life. Yes, I will. <laughs> um, Things that I didn't like about Ipsy uh, Gen Beauty, I don't think that, you know, many things that I have in my head that I didn't like. Um, I just think that maybe for creators, maybe we should have uh, a separate lines to wait uh, uh, to get in or also to wait inside for the brands that we want to meet. I think we should have had a, a, a separate line. I mean, I can't really... Uh, complain about that like that because a lot of the a lot of the brands there a lot of the a lot of them We didn't have to wait. We just went straight to them and were able to talk to the PR person or whatever. So I Mean I can't say much negative things about Gen Beauty. Um, my favorite item I At the moment I can't tell you. I mean we have so many goodies so much stuff that we have to go through boxes and bags that I just can't just pick one right now and tell you oh this is my favorite no, I can't I can't 
uh, I don't know, right? It's gonna take me a while. I, I need time to, you know, to go through this and think. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to make this any longer. I just wanted to say thank you, Ipsy. Um, this is an amazing, amazing um, um, opportunity for us. And I just, back to reality. Now I'm gonna cook dinner for my family, so yeah. I'll see you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Hey everyone, here is Vanessa for Nerlies. I am home. I'm safe. It was a long drive for the past three days, but it was so worth it. Um, Ipsy, thank you so much. I don't care what you're doing, Ipsy. Just thank you for doing it. You are creating such a great and wonderful platform for us. Um, we had a great, great time. I really can't tell you what I like, what I didn't like just yet. Um, there's so much fresh stuff in my mind. We're going to show you everything we got. Um, all the wonderful goodies and everything. Um, but they're bags, so... We gotta take time for that. So we're definitely guys gonna show you that. Huge shout out to some of the brands. Um, H Tool, Make a Forever, A Cosmetics. Um, you guys are great. Your PR team was fantastic. They were not the only brands, there was tons of brands that were so respectful and they took the time out to meet all of us. So thank you for that. Hey guys, we also checked out um, Style & Code. If you don't know about them, you definitely should. Um, they're a series in um, Amazon. You do not need Prime to have them and watch them, so definitely catch up with them. Um, I can't tell you. It was just fantastic. Um, I did get um, my high keys in gold. I've been wanting them for such of a long time, and I was able to get them. Oh, I was so excited about that. Guys, we met so many of the stylists. One of the stylists that really I would love for you guys to follow is Lynette. Um, she's such a beautiful person inside out. She's so inspiring. Her husband is great too. He's a musician. His music is great. Check them both out. Um, as well as all the stylists, they all have something unique to offer and give you. And we met, I would say, most of them. Um, Christine Dominic, we met her as well. Um, Thank you, friend. She's so beautiful. Gabriel, congratulations on being a boy stylist now. That is so great. You're opening so many more doors for everyone else. Um, so that's fantastic. Uh, guys, we met so many people. They're so beautiful. All the pictures are going to come up. I can't tell you what I like the most and what I didn't because everything is so fresh. And I'm like, oh, but I like this and I like that. And it's just so many things. Um, I do can tell you we met the girls. And by the girls, I mean um, Steven and John Jay, Desi and Katie's husband. They're great. They're so proud of their wives. And that is such a great thing to see. Um, they were awesome. But, you know, guys, we're going to give you everything. We're going to tell you what we like the most, what we like, what we didn't like. Just bear with us. Give us a few days. It's so much to go through. And we're going to let you see what we got as well. So thank you. Thank you, Ipsy. Thank you, everyone. Um, we had a great time. Until next time. Bye. Hey, party people. Hope you had a great week weekend. Hi, I'm Sylvia. And um, I just wanted to chat about Gen Beauty, that uh, Nerd and Lace. We were there this weekend. We had a great time. Um, so uh, I'm, I was so excited to attend. Heck, I'm so excited to attend next year again. I was there last year, too. Amazing, amazing time. Um, so I just wanted to chat with you guys about a few things um, on, my, on my thoughts about um, Ipsy Gen Beauty. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say, loved the location. Brooklyn was awesome. Uh, the location was much bigger than last year. Um, I felt the layout was great. Um, they were able to get a lot more brands in and um, I felt like it wasn't as boxed in as last year. Last year seemed really crowded and this year even though it was crowded there was still like a lot of space to walk around. Um, I think Ipsy did a great job um, with all the brands that they got to come to Gen Beauty. They seriously stepped that up, um, got amazing brands for all of the attendees. Um, and I loved, loved how I got to just meet so many of the Ipsy OS people that, you know, we see every day on, um, on the, I see on the Facebook feeds and everything like that and just putting, you know, um, a name to a face and just meeting them and we were like fangirling on each other and hugging each other it was really really great um, I have to also shout out um, there were so many brands that were just amazingly generous to us um, Bare Minerals, Derma E, Mark Anthony, Too Faced, Tarte, Benefit, Makeup Forever and a brand I'm so excited for um, H2O Plus so happy you guys are back um, a few things that um, actually I wish would have 
they would have done that they did last year was um, we got to wait inside last year and this year at the Brooklyn location we had to wait outside. I was like, what was Ipsy going to do if it rained? That would have been a disaster. Um, and then also uh, the announcement for like when there was like a celebrity meetup. Um, maybe I just couldn't hear them because maybe it was louder and they had a DJ and music, which was awesome. Um, but um, I thought those two things were um, definitely things I missed from last year. And um, and then I'm going to give another shout out to a brand. My favorite product that I got at Gen Beauty this year was um, Bare Minerals. Gave their Bare Pro full-size powder foundation. And they gave the brush. Awesome. And a really cool notebook have your cake definitely but yep had an awesome time can't wait for next year and uh hope to see you all there okay now that the fellow nerds have given their review of gem beauty 2016 um new york city it's new york city um i'm going to share a fun little thing that happened to us um we were on desi's and katie's snapchat so here you go fun being on Desi's and Katie's snapchat with their husbands because they were really nice guys overall and men that fully support their women and it, we generally adore these people we feel like we know them we don't know them at all um well now I say that I've met them which is nice um but it was just it was, it was so nice and it was so sweet and so giving and I'm like you guys should have your own meetup because I'm pretty sure it will be absolutely packed they were such nice guys um, so thank you so much for watching um, this and we hope you'll enjoyed our little review on Gem Beauty New York City 2016 and we're going to end up this video today with a zillion pictures so watch let's watch bye